I feel that the liberals have failed drastically to um, to help us overcome homelessness. As you know, uh, it's it's at its worst in liberal city. Um, you know, with the with the with the election, as I said, it just isn't over regardless of what they're telling you right now. Um, and homelessness is not what they tell you either. Okay, so I'm up this morning about to have my breakfast, but I wanted to come in and just talk about something um, that came across my um, email or whatever, Facebook, however I got it. But it says that um, AP has called Georgia for um, Biden. And AP does what AP does. They called Georgia for Biden. But people need to know that the race is not over. The election is not over. The election not, is not over uh, until all of the legalities have been sorted out. You know, what gets me is that people cling to the mainstream media. They cling to AP. They cling to all of these other leftist media networks. And when the results come out differently from what they have reported, then they're up in arms and they're ready to say, oh, the president cheated and um, all of the, you know, fallout that, that comes when the real results, uh, the fair, the honest results are revealed. Um, regardless of who wins the election, you have to know that the election is not over until every legal road has been followed. Um, so I, I just think the, the mainstream media once again is being incredibly, is doing an incredible disservice to people, leading them down a path to believe that, you know, Biden has won the pre presidency because they called it. The media cannot call an election. Um, they generally go in line with what they feel, strongly believe, based on the evidence, uh, will be the results, but they can't call an election. They just can't. Um, and so whether Democrat or Republican, you would think that both sides would want to dispel any sort of impropriety, anything that may have gone amiss, to make sure that the duly elected president has gotten in fairly and that there has been no sort of, you know, um, dishonesty or anything that could change the results. So I just wanted to come on this morning um, and talk about, you know, the AP and um, it's calling Georgia and how it, it really doesn't weigh that much in, in the final results. It just doesn't. But um, not too many people are going to tell you that. <laughs> so um, I thought I would take my time and come on and do that this morning for the, what, under four minutes? Yeah. Um, it's probably going to go a little bit longer than that. Uh, you, let me take time to introduce myself. My name is Lit. This uh, I call this show Lit's Talk. Um, and I talk from a conservative perspective on the homeless crisis in uh, America. Um, I feel that the liberals have failed drastically to um, to help us overcome homelessness. As you know, uh, it's, it's at its worst in liberal cities. It's in liberal cities where 
uh, numbers have increased. The numbers have increased, not gone down, uh, not even close to going down. They're going up. So they're doing something wrong, and, and I have some ideas as to what they're doing wrong, which I can't say all in this video, but I can tell you a lot of it has to do with that mainstream media who is misreporting information. The average American is way behind in understanding the homeless crisis, way behind. They think everybody's a bum. They think everybody's um, an alcoholic or a drug addict or incredibly uh, mentally ill. And that's just not the case. It just isn't. And, um, you know, so the mainstream media does what it does. And, uh, you know, with the, with, the, with the election, as I said, it just isn't over regardless of what they're telling you right now. Um, and homelessness is not what they tell you either. So that's all I really have time to say this morning. I went close to six minutes, which isn't bad. Um, again, this is Let's Talk, and it's brought to you from As a Third World in North America Terms. I hope you'll subscribe to hear more of what I have to say uh, of how um, the third world in North America turns, and it does, uh, but you don't hear too much about it. So that's all for now, and I hope to talk to you soon.